I'd like to give you an overview of Omniverse Create. Create is an app built on the Omniverse platform that is a native inspection, world builder, and rendering of USD content. The first thing you'll notice in Create is a viewport. The viewport is a Hydra-based delegate system where it allows you to have multiple renderers. So here you can see we have a real-time ray tracing renderer developed by NVIDIA and a path trace renderer developed by NVIDIA. And both are extremely fast at rendering USD content using ray tracing. Additional Hydra-based renderers are also available like iRay or Storm. But Create is a native USD editor, so that means you start with some USD content. And you can bring in USD content either through the content browser here, you can get local USD data off your hard drive, or you can collaborate using a Nucleus uh, server as well. Once you have your USD data, you can inspect it. There's a stage viewer that allows you to inspect the USD data that's available within the scene. For example, I can get to the lighting, and I can adjust any property of that lighting directly in the stage viewer. Another great feature of Omniverse Create is a layer system. So this layer system leverages USD layers to allow you to collaborate and structure your data into layers. And by doing this, I can form structures like, for example, having a background layer that has different lighting in it. And layers can have different opinions of color and objects, or use it as a way to collaborate with others and lock layers uh, for working together. But it's a great system for building out large worlds. And again, here I just turned on my uh, background lighting, and now I can even path trace that quickly. Another great feature of Omniverse Create is animation. It supports both USD scale and time sample data animation from USD. So here I can see I can scrub the timeline, and I'm actually getting very fast results even with path tracing. And if I go to real time mode, I can also play back uh, this model using um, the animation system. Another great feature of Create is it allows you to create new objects. So for example, here I can create an object like a cylinder, move it around and place it how I want, duplicate it, inspect it, uh, and duplicate uh, and instance it if I want. But additionally, I can create objects through scripting. If I don't want to use the menus, I can create new objects through Python 3 scripting. So here I can run a script that creates a new object that shows up here in my uh, stage that I can grab and move around. So it allows you to create uh, new objects either through uh, Python or through uh, the menu system. Now the great thing about Create is most of these menus and tools are all built using the scripting language. So when you create a script that you like, you can also share it as an extension. So we have an extension manager within Create that allows you to share these, these extensions with others. For example, it comes with a lot of great extensions. If I look at some of the extensions here, you, you see things like Flow and Physics and lots of uh, great extensions you could add on top of Create. But for example, here I'm going to run the Image Viewer. The Image Viewer adds a new capability within my content browser that allows me to inspect materials and, and textures. So for example, I look at this texture and double click on it, it'll bring up a new viewer for that texture. So it's just one of the many ways you can add new capabilities to create on top of the Omniverse platform. In future videos, we'll talk more about layers and importing assets, and even the live mode that you can have within layers that allows you to collaborate live between multiple applications.